Hey, I'm Jeff Haynes, and this is the video unboxing of the HP TouchSmart 520-1070 All-in-One Desktop System. Try saying that three times fast. In November, we brought you the rather unique unboxing of the HP TouchSmart 610, a rather robust system that packed some very creative features like the ability to recline almost entirely flat to give you a new interactive experience, coupled with Beats Audio to enhance your movie watching and music listening experience. Now, the HP TouchSmart 520 comes back with a slimmer, thinner system that also packs some of the same functionality that made the TouchSmart 610 so popular with us here at Tech Bargains. So I want to take a really quick look at what exactly you'll get whenever you order it from HP. Now obviously you're not going to get it within this very large blue box, this is something that HP custom designed and shipped direct to us. But it will give you a slight idea of what exactly you'll get in the box. So when I remove these Velcro straps for the shipping, and pull off the top box, what you'll see obviously are these foam inserts. Now again, as I mentioned, you're not necessarily going to get these foam inserts whenever you order the all-in-one, but it does manage to segment out some of the items that you will get with the system. For instance, the slim and very thin wireless keyboard, which of course the TouchSmart 610 also came with. And because this has also been packed in a completely separate uh, setup, and I'll push this over to the side, you wind up getting a pack with your power brick. You wind up getting, obviously, your power cable. And then finally, you have your remote control, which you can use to control the TV tuner functionality for the TouchSmart. Of course, all of the HP TouchSmarts that have been released in the past couple of months do have the built-in TV tuner or even the optional TV tuner to let you interact with and record television on your system, as well as a wireless mouse so that you can pair it up with the wireless keyboard and control your system if you don't want to use the touch, touch functionality. You also get an IR uh, adapter so that you can control the remote for interacting with the television. But once you move all of that stuff out of the way, and of course, for something like this, you bring the system down to its side, you wind up getting the HP TouchSmart 520-1070 system. As I mentioned in my intro, it's actually a little bit thinner and lighter than the uh, TouchSmart 610. This is a 23-inch system as opposed to the 27-inch system that the TouchSmart 610 was. Uh, it also seems to have the same recline functionality but only to a point. It doesn't wind up going all the way down to the same 60 degree angle that the TouchSmart 610 did. And part of that I believe is simply because of the hinge mechanism that it happens to have that keeps it in its base. So I wanna take a really quick look around the system before we actually get into the internal specs. So on this side, we'll start up at the top. You have your Super Multi Blu-ray burner up here, which is slot loaded, obviously. You also have your controls to not only adjust the volume and the contrast, but also to send video to an external monitor that is connected via this HDMI port right there. On the rear of the system, obviously, you're gonna have some of your ports. What actually stands out about the 520 from the 610 is that instead of there being a drawer that you're actually going to hide a lot of the cables and the ports, they're put off to the side. So over here you have your coax cable, obviously uh, the TV tuner is included within this model. You have a power adapter port, so you can just plug in the power brick, your ethernet port, your four USB 2.0 ports in a square configuration, and surrounding that you have audio ports, so if you want to hook up the system to external speakers, you can easily do so. On this side, <clears throat> you have a six-in-one card reader. You also have two USB 3.0 ports, which is actually different because the 610 didn't have any USB 3.0 ports. So it's really nice to see that the 520 has actually included some of the newer, higher speed uh, US USB ports. And finally, you have your microphone and headphone jack right there. There's one other subtle difference that I like to point out, and that happens to be the webcam right here, which is a fixed webcam, not the adjustable webcam that we saw on the HP TouchSmart 610. It just marks another subtle difference between the larger 610 series and the smaller, thinner, lighter 520. The internals of the 520-1070 all-in-one system that we're looking at right now is powered by a second-generation Intel Core i7-2600S processor running at 2.8 GHz with 8 GB of DDR3 RAM. This is supplemented by an ATI Radeon 6450 video card with 1 GB of graphical DDR3 memory. This system comes with 
two terabytes of hard drive space spinning at 5400 RPM, and it obviously helps to produce and power content on the 23 inch screen that is a LED backlit screen with a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. One other thing that I'd like to point out is that this HP TouchSmart 520 also comes with Beats Audio, so all of your music and your movies should definitely sound solid, and we're really interested to see how the smaller system happens to use this audio certification within its presentation of all of the media that runs on the system. So let's quick look at the HP TouchSmart 520 all-in-one desktop system. Be sure to come back in the upcoming weeks where we'll have a full review of this system. For the latest news, reviews, coupons, and deals, be sure to check out techbargains.com, follow us on Twitter at TechBargains, or check out our Facebook page.